So we're basically just stuck in our homes? When it rains. Hey guys, it's me, Hope from Random Reads, and today I come to you with an invitation. So I don't know if you've heard the news, but there's a pandemic going on, and we're basically all stuck in our houses, self-quarantining and social distancing, so we have a lot of extra time on our hands. So I decided to host a readathon. So you can follow along on Instagram, it's called Quarantineathon, which is very fitting, obviously. And um, we're gonna do it from March 25th to the 28th. So it's a 72 hour long readathon, and there's basically no challenges or no prompt. You can read whatever you want, and all you have to do is just read as many books as you can for those 72 hours. So that's basically it, it's pretty chill. Um, so I'm just going to show you my TBR. I don't know how much of my TBR I'm going to read or if I'm even going to read those books, but these are the books I think I might read during next week. So first I have The Bat by Jo Nespo. So this is a crime book. I just recently started getting into kind of crime books because I used to only read really dystopia, but this um, is about an investigator in Norway and basically someone disappears and there's a killer and crime. It's really hard to explain. It seems like a very complicated prompt. But yeah, this is my number one book on my TBR. Um, you see the slash through the O because that's what the one of the Norwegian letters look like. It looks like this. And um, we obviously don't use it in English, but this was translated from... Norwegian to English. So I actually speak Norwegian, but this one is in standard British English. But anyways, yeah, that's my first book on my TBR. My second book is pretty short. We have The Statistical Probability of Falling in Love at First Sight. Or The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. So this is a book I saw going around book two quite a while ago. Um, I never got to read it so basically this girl um is on her way to her dad's wedding and she misses her flight and somehow that ricochets into her meeting someone and that's basically all i know i got this for one dollar at a library sale so that's pretty cool and it's in really good condition and it's fairly short which is definitely the type of books you want to read during a readathon okay my next book is on a sunbeam so you're probably wondering why the heck would i choose a 500 page book for readathon well it's actually a graphic novel it looks really cool i got it a very long time ago and i never got around to reading it so um it takes place in space and apparently it's like a family soap opera and there's like a slow bro slow burn romance so i'm really excited to read this one because i haven't read a graphic novel in a very long time and yeah so it's pretty bulky but since it's a graphic novel i think i'll get through it pretty fast so i just realized that basically all of my books are romance novels which i did not do on purpose but the next one is tonight the streets are ours so this is um about two teenagers I think yeah 17 year olds so teenagers in New York and they both have you know, going through a lot of things with life and family life and somehow they end up bumping into each other and I guess that's just where the romance <laughs> happens I I'm so sorry I don't know that much about these books I prefer to go into books not knowing what it's about just because I like to be surprised but yeah this is the other book on my TBR. So I'm pretty sure I won't get to this book because I already have four books on my TBR, but next is The Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell. So this is the sequel to Carry On. It looks like this. I loved Carry On so much and this is the second book which I never thought would happen. It took a few years for it to come up. But basically Rainbow um Rainbow's Carry On is kind of like a twist on Harry Potter, I guess, like Harry Potter fan fiction. Um which 
Okay. So, Carry On started as a fan fiction of Rainbow Rowell's book character. But um, after everyone read that book, which was called Fangirl, um, we decided that we really liked that fan fiction. So, she ended up writing a whole book about it. And we loved it so much that we begged her and begged her. And she finally made a sequel. So, this is it. And I'm very excited. Uh, maybe I'll read it, maybe I won't, I don't know if I'll get to it, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. I don't know why I haven't yet. So that is it. Those are all of the books. Um, let me pick them up. So these are all the books on my TBR for this readathon. Please join, follow along on Instagram. Um, hashtag quarantineathon. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's really chill. Just staying at home, reading some books, catching up on some relaxation. And yeah, so um, comment down below your TBR, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stay safe and stay healthy.